Hey, welcome back. A little bit of a gray day for us here in Anchorage today. Clouds have been coming in most of the afternoon uh, with that consistent light rain. High temperature only made up to 55 degrees as after starting in 50. It is still normal here, even into late August, to see those high temperatures into the low 60s. In fact, uh, back in 2016, we we're at 77 degrees on this date. Just shy of a third of an inch of rain for us in Anchorage so far today. That does bring us up to uh, more than four and a half inches of rain for the month of August. And even though it's been relatively dry the past couple of weeks, uh, this is still the ninth wettest August on record that we've seen in Anchorage. We did see about double the amount of rain and portage into Seward across Prince William Sound and even more into Southeast Juneau today, picking up about three quarters of an inch of rain and Ketchikan more than six tenths. So again, that is not unusual for Southeast, but hard at this point to get any moisture as they are dealing with that landslide. Now we are seeing drier and sunnier and warmer conditions to the north. Fairbanks at 64 degrees, full sunshine in Nome today. High temperatures there in the low 50s and nice for the western side of the state had to get a break from the active weather that we had been seeing earlier this month. We do have showers in Dillingham and we're going to see more rain and wind through the Aleutians as we have another storm system moving in from the west. This storm right now bringing high winds through the central Aleutians and it is going to move pretty much east here over the next 24 to 48 hours. As for this current storm, not a whole lot left to it. Some light rain continues, uh, mainly for the coastal areas in South Central tomorrow, but most of that is headed down into Southeast. So uh, we'll still see the rain here tonight, but then mid-morning tomorrow, drying out for Anchorage, for the Valley, and for most of the Kenai Peninsula, but we will still see that rain through Prince William Sound and then all the way down into about Juneau. Once we get into late Thursday and Friday, we hold on to dry conditions in South Central for the most part, but here comes that next storm system. And again, that is going to bring heavier rain to Southeast, starting in Ketchikan and then pushing to the North Friday night. That will also bring wet conditions to the coastal areas of South Central, but right now it looks like that'll stay far enough South that we'll see drier conditions in uh, Anchorage and up into the Valley. So again, some light rain continues tonight, heavier near Prince William Sound. As we head into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a chance for a few isolated showers from Anchorage North with weather conditions as you head down uh, to the Kenai Peninsula. And again, tomorrow, at the northern half of Southeast, so we'll see that heavier rain We'll see up to two inches uh, in Juneau through Friday. And then again, it's Friday night that you'll really start to see that rain ramping up again in Ketchikan. High temperatures tomorrow will stay in those mid to upper 50s and low 60s. Again, wet conditions to the north. Uh, those of you in Ketchikan should see dry conditions for the first part of the day. We will see mostly dry conditions on the Kenai Peninsula. A few lingering showers near the mountains and down near Kodiak. We'll continue to see rain showers across Prince William Sound, but dry into the Copper River Basin, dry and even mostly sunny in the valley tomorrow. It's going to be a great day at the fair, nearly 60 degrees. Anchorage also back up to 60, mostly sunny for us tomorrow. Enjoy it. Uh, we will see a little bit more cloud cover this weekend. Again, I can't rule out a passing shower, but those high temperatures stay consistent right there in the low 60s all the way through Labor Day and even into the first few days there of September, Mike, uh, looking pretty calm and comfortable. We could use calm and comfortable. Yeah. yeah thanks, Melissa. <laughs>